नेक्स्ट इज द मेन थिंग विच आई एम गोइंग टू फिल नाउ एंड आई लीव सम पिक्चर्स बिलो ऑल्सो ऑफ सम ऑफ द फॉर्म्स दैट आर नीडेड टू फिल बिलो सो I am not going to describe about thirty percent ruling. Thirty percent ruling mostly applies to people who come. They have also certain guidelines. I'll leave the link below so you can verify from those websites what are the rules for thirty percent ruling. So I won't go into the details. So if you live somewhere around one fifty kilometers, like one fifty kilometers away from some border of Netherlands, they have certain rules like you should not be very near or something like that. Then only uh, that is one of the condition to be eligible for thirty percent ruling, and you should not have studied in Netherlands for like one or two years or something like that. I mean, in my case, I started my PhD immediately after my masters. but still i am not eligible for 30% ruling because for the two years just before that i was doing masters here in netherlands so i mean mostly if you do masters for two years here in most cases you won't get the 30% ruling so that's why i am not going into the deep of 30% ruling if you leave some comments i might go into the deep calculation because i don't want to waste the time of everyone but uh mostly it is processed by your employer because employer gives you the visa while you working even if you do a phd or a job it's always employer visa so they do the due process everything if you are eligible they will apply 30% ruling for you. you don't need to take any headache or anything and uh, that's why i'm not going to talk about that because you don't apply it yourself just like the house rent allowance care allowance and the tax allowance so if you don't get the 30% ruling then you can get some tax benefit as you have studied in netherlands so till now i don't know how much amount exactly you get but it's somewhere around roughly the tuition fees that you have spent it will be somewhere you will be getting back around 19 to i don't know like 20 to 30% of the amount that you have paid as a tuition and how do you get back you get back as some form of refund every year after you earn some money so it's like you are paying tax every year while we are earning some money so every year they will give you some tax return of that amount whatever we are eligible to receive so for example i don't know the exact amount till now i'll update it in the comments below i won't show it in the video because till now i am also in the due process of getting that amount but how you can apply i can show you so for the tax allowance there is that ta if you don't have the 30% ruling then only you can apply for it you have two things one is you can go to their official website which i will leave below the link below and apply from their website how is it like after you start earning or start doing the job in netherlands then once your financial year is ending not the financial year it normal year is ending so once you are approaching the end of financial year around march or april maybe they ask to send the form around march or april that's the time the new forms open so you can fill suppose for, let's take a example that will be easier to understand so suppose i am working in 2017 take my example suppose i am working in september october and november and december of 2017 okay so around march 2018 i applied online from the website left below uh, attached below uh, for the tax refund for this annual year 2017 but i worked only 4 months so as i described before the 4 months gross income is never equivalent to 20000 uh, unless i am a high power businessman or a millionaire or something just leave that thing so that's why i also got the hr and ta for the hr and ca for 2017 even though i started working but i worked only 4 months so i got this so it, everything depends on your type of living and how much you earn so as a student you are always eligible if you live in all those conditions blah 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 i applied for the tax refund from the website in march so they have yearly forms 
so they have forms from like 2017 tax refund 2016 and one thing you should know there is a catch if you have studied long before and not filled this refund form uh, to get the tax benefit because most people don't know this they only allow you to fill five years back tax refund okay so if you if i applied in 2018 so i can see only 13 14 15 16 and 17 if i studied in netherlands in 2012 then sadly i won't get that refund because you can only apply for five years one two three four five so 12 no chance so what can we do so be careful of this if you have studied long before and not applied for this then now is the time for you to act form is also like very self-explanatory just have a extension translator which can translate what you are doing and that will just translate for you like when you fill this forms which is very easy once you have your pay slip and everything you can do it and uh, most of the things you will skip because you don't have a real estate or any property in Netherlands mostly students who start working don't have properties and these sort of things you will very easily understand self-explanatory but what matters is suppose in my case I entered Netherlands in 2015 uh, not September it's 2015 August in 2017 September I started working so in 2018 March as I described earlier I started to fill the form and when I go to the website I try to fill three years form that is 2015 tax form 16 and 17 that is how they know how much you paid for your education and they are going to do the refund later when they calculate. So for 15, 16 and 17. So what happens is it depends how you paid. You should state the exact amount that you paid in that year. Never try to convert or something. I mean like suppose you paid 15,000 euro for 2015 to 16 but you paid it in 2015 that is the time you paid the paying time is the time of how much you are paying that year so if i paid one year fee in 2015 that is roughly i paid 13500 euros for one year tuition i paid in 2015 although it was for one year but when i fill this form then in 2015, I entered this amount that is 13,500 euros. And what I did for the second year onwards was like I made a mon monthly installment. I paid a, the next year amount in every month installment, which was roughly around 1,150 euros. So now I need to calculate my partial amount. Like suppose in 2016, when I fill the 2000. So first you finish filling the 2015 form where everything is almost blank, whatever you need to fill. And uh, for 2016, in my case it was partial. If you pay the second year at, as a bulk, then obviously your 2016 will be one amount you will fill and your 17 will be zero because you are paying for 2016-17 exactly in 2016. So in my case it was... 2016 I paid like uh, so the, it ended in August so from September to December for four months I paid because I was paying monthly for the second year so I paid for four months so I need to calculate whatever I paid in four months that was roughly around 4,000 some euros uh, so I entered that amount when I filled the 2016 form in my educational expense and the rest of the things are blank because I was not working if you are working you need to fill how much you earned or something like that and here you don't need to care about your house rent allowance or care allowance they don't care and for 2017 you just fill the again in my case it was the rest eight months because I finished my graduation in two years so in 2017 I paid for eight months so that is like eight months money 
so whatever you pay in that year exact amount you enter that never calculate in your own like i pay in 2015 13000 but that is actually it is meant for 15 to 16 so i enter partially don't do that just enter whatever you paid in that year don't try to com over complicate things so in 2017 it was for 8 months whatever it was 8000 something or 9000 something and then you need to wait for them to process the application in my case in 2017 i entered my 4 months income also because i started earning for 4 months so it depends if you start earning and what happens is once you finish filling these forms they will start processing everything and whatever I remember in, in this 2017, they also give you certain refund. I don't know exactly. It will show you once you are going to fill the forms. Uh, so what happens is if you fill this form sequentially, then everything gets carried over. And once they give you the calculation in that red envelope that I showed you or the blue envelope when they make the decision, then you get to hear whether you are successfully you have finished the application or you have some issues or you need to clarify something but at the end you will be successful so what happens is like then you i mean in my case taking example in 2018 maybe if i filled in march then maybe around may or maybe around july you will hear from them the decision of uh, what happened so in my case I think around July or August I heard from them about what happened around July or August I heard from them like uh, for 2017 I have already received the refund so they process the money that I'm eligible to get in 2017 because I have already started paying tax. So once you start paying tax, then you get these tuition refunds in some partial amounts. And that partial amount is still unknown. I don't know how they calculate. And But roughly, it will be, as I said earlier, it will be somewhere around 20 to 30% you will get back whatever you are paying. So suppose I paid like 27,000 euros. So roughly, I should get back around... Uh, I don't know like somewhere around 5000 to maybe 8000 euros something like that but it will be somewhere around 5000 6000 I mean it's not exactly 20 to 30 percent but it's something like that they don't give you the entire amount but that's the advantage because you studied here even though you don't get the 30 percent ruling you get some partial benefits 2017 benefits but 2017 benefits after you receive the 2017 benefits uh, but uh, whatever I remember I think it was not for the 8 months amount but they have by default they give also some kind of refund every year for the partial amount that you are paying as tax which is roughly around in my case 500 to 600 euros every month so they give you like I don't know exactly I think I got my entire tax refund so they will calculate it don't care about it just fill the form and uh, don't go into the complexity of the calculations but at the end when you count when you finish maybe two three years of working then you'll see you will get back around five thousand or seven thousand euros of whatever you paid as a tuition so just uh, i will keep you updated about that in the comment in the description below because i cannot update the video maybe make a separate video so there is one catch i mean like in my case i entered netherlands in 2015 so if the year you enter Netherlands, if you have filled that form online, so then that is wrong. That is a mistake. You cannot do anything about it. So just fill all the forms as I mentioned earlier. And when you find that 2015 is a mistake, so what happens is they will send you a letter. So it looks something like this. I will attach an image below so that everyone can know what it looks like. So basically it comes in the some kind of a so
So basically it comes in some kind of a blue envelope like this. It, it comes in a big blue envelope like A4 size. And what they give you is like they have a written envelope inside so that you can send back the form that they need. Uh, in my case it is 2015, in your case it will be the year you enter Netherlands. So the year you enter Netherlands you are treated as a migrant and if you are a migrant then you are not allowed to fill the ordinary form available online. So if you are a migrant, I mean the year you enter Netherlands for the first time you are a migrant then you are not allowed to fill the online form. So what you can do then is fill the paper form they send you, the paper form. So how can you fill the paper form? So I, this is the letter, I will leave the details below. Maybe remove my personal details. And so I will leave all the images below which form you need to fill. So this is one, uh, I mean the M form. That is actually called the M form because you are a migrant. So in my case it was 2015. So in 2015 I need to fill the M paper form they send me and return them with the written envelope that they have given in the box. So the online form in my case for 2015 is not valid. I need to finish this and send them back. Once you send them back, they will again give the decision after some time and you will get the refund partially. So this is how the book look like, looks like. It's the 2015 M form. It will be inside that blue envelope. And what is inside this is that Well, you can find like it's a booklet with each page can be torn off. So it's a lot of things, but as you have entered 2015, so you don't have any income or anything. You just fill only two pages, which I will show you only two pages. Don't care. It is entirely in Dutch. So my friend, don't worry. I'm here to help you. Uh, just fill two pages that is page number i will leave the images of this page by so that you can know what you need to fill and what things you need to fill because entirely it is in dutch so one thing you can do is like you can call the tax authorities and ask them for english speaker they will transfer your call and then you can ask them those particular page numbers uh, which i'll mention now but i will also help you how you can fill which fields you need to fill in the M form because I have already done it. So I will show you my image. And there is another option. You can always ask them, but they can tell you which pages you need to fill. So be sure which pages I'm mentioning you, you only fill those pages. There will be like 40 or 50 pages. You only fill two pages. I'll show you. And if you have still any questions, maybe ask in the comments or maybe just ask the tax authorities by transferring to English line particular pages go to those pages and ask the fields they will explain what it means in english you can fill it and send them don't worry everyone is there with help you you can ask also tax consultants but why do you pay like 50 or 100 euros just follow the video or call the tax authorities or maybe ask me i'm there to help you man then you start acting don't worry like you will get it because they know that you entered and once they cancel this she or online form, they will send you this M form. So just wait for the M form when you receive it, then start acting. Don't panic, don't think, don't overcomplicate things. It's page one, page two, it's page 29, page 30. Just tear off these pages. I mean, it's basically two pages, one and two in one and 29 and 30 in one. And uh, so when you tear off these two pages from the M book that I showed you, the 2015 M in my case. So then you need to fill these two pages and the way I put it, it's like form one is always heading to the top. So what happens is the address that is shown, that is the address that should reach them, that should come here. So if you see closely, that is the transparent thing where you can read the address if you can it's in helen that's the head office of the tax so form page one should be inserted in such a way that this transparent 
should show this Helen address. If it shows the Helen address, then it will reach those that tax office automatically. If this address doesn't show, then it will come back to you. Uh, that's a big problem. So just don't show your name here. Just show put the page one in such a way that in the return series of what uh, benefits and allowances you can get. And there will be many more coming like living in Netherlands, study and cost of living and other things. So check my Quora blog. This is one FAQ. There are like five or six more FAQs which I'm going to fill in a video series. So it will help like the current generation living in Netherlands and also the future coming generations who are coming to Netherlands. So if you like this video and if you it helps you, please uh, consider subscribing and sharing and uh, letting your friends know that someone is there to help you. Uh, please subscribe and share and uh, till the next video series. Bye.